Welcome to Say Show and Vlog, and we're here with a trip announcement. We are. We are. Where are we going? Florida. I don't know where we're going. Why am I Florida. asking? Florida. Florida. <laughs> yeah, this we've is been watching the last amount of time that we'll be going to Florida. 11 days. Yeah, it is a, it's a yeah. short period of time, but we're not doing any of the parks or anything. We're just going to visit our friends, Kitty and Aunt and Tori, um, and see some of our other friends and do non-park stuff. Yeah, so this trip's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be the first time we've gone to Florida and not done a single theme park. So no Disney, yep. no Universal, yep. no SeaWorld, yep. nothing. no Busch Gardens, nothing at all. no theme parks whatsoever. There was Here's the plan. There was reasons behind that. There is a plan, but when it comes to you you and Ant, things could change. Well, the, the things could definitely change because there's only a very loose plan for this trip. We've got some things that are definitely happening on specific dates, but there's only a couple of them. And... We've got lots of ideas of things that we want to do. And if there's anything that you guys suggest, that's not a theme park, that's off the beaten yeah, track. Yeah, definitely. That, that's Leave good a comment. For, that's good for people with disabilities, um, people with autism, uh, just generally anything that's good for all of us to do. Because obviously we're, we're taking friends. Yeah. We've got friends coming along as well. Um, so, yeah, and kids. Anything reasonably priced. That's yeah. not, not too expensive because we are on a budget. So any suggestions you've got for things to do, Places to eat and not the big chains. We know all of them. Anything yeah. that's something off the track a little different. bit. Yeah. And something that's good for us people who, like myself, are pescatarian, vegetarian, whichever way you want to do it. Just leave all your suggestions down below, basically. So let's let's have a quick or overview. Even, or even I just come on. Or even for hot challenges, because I like spicy food. Challenges. Yeah, challenges for me to do. Because the spicier the I better. I challenge you to eat meat. No, thank you. I've done uh, it once. Well, then. <laughs> I've done it once. I don't want to do it again. Who can resist bacon? Me? Quite easy. And I actually love smoked sugar bacon. Because we're staying with our friends Kitty and Ant, you're going to get your morning star bacon. I'm going to get my morning star bacon, which I love. Yeah. yeah. It's good because Ant's a part-time vegetarian. <laughs> so let's have a little overview of, of the trip. So we're going for 11 days. We're staying with our friends Kitty and Ant, but not for the whole time. Um, and we're going... We're bringing along with us, rather, uh, two of our friends from here, who you are, who you may be familiar with. Mr. And Mrs. Red T-shirt. Yes, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Red T-shirt, as Steve Park Weather says, who we will also be meeting up with. We're going to uh, the the Theme Park Plaza meetup uh, midway through through the trip. So we're starting off by flying with Tui from Newcastle straight to Melbourne, um, and how to, we're just doing flight only, so the no no transfers, no hotels or anything with them. And we booked Tui and chose Tui because we had a voucher to use up. So From the last time I was actually there when it was the hurricane. Yeah, so we got a voucher off Tui for a little bit of the inconvenience, uh, particularly around uh, the transfer issues that we had and, and what happened to Caroline. Go back and watch that series if, if you want to know all about that. So we used, we're using that voucher for the flights, which made the flights almost half price for us. Um, almost, it was still, we still had to pay, what, seven, eight hundred pounds, something like that. Something like that we had to pay, which used to be the price for flights, right? Or, and, and back when you first started going to Florida, it used to be the price for the whole thing. The whole, <laughs> our whole holiday the first time. But that was a long went, time ago. The first holiday I ever went to Florida. Can't be that long was, ago, you're only 21. Was a, <laughs> was a £199 flight ride, and then mm. including the, I think including... I never got the luxury of that. <laughs> so we're flying into Melbourne with Tui. Uh, we will get to Melbourne, Orlando about 2 o'clock, 10 past 2, something like that in the afternoon. And we are picking up a car hire from Alamo and we've booked that through Discount Florida Car Hire Not from Alamo. Andy. <laughs> That's eh? what I used to call it, Alamo. Alamo. <laughs> Alamo. Alamo. We're, we're picking up a, an intermediate SUV is what we've booked, which hopefully will be enough uh, size for all of our cases, the four of us and two wheelchairs but we'll, we'll find out we'll, we'll we'll do some Jenga and make it all work so we'll, once we pick the car up we're going to get uh, head up to the Orlando area uh, to see Kitty and Ann and get all sorted in in the house and we're going to pop out to Publix or Target one of one of the supermarkets to grab some bits and pieces and then grab some dinner that, that'll be our first day yeah 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 hopefully I'm not too done by the flight <laughs> which probably, I normally am probably will be <laughs> But we'll, we'll work with it. And then um, the next day is our wedding anniversary. It is. Five years. Yeah, five year wedding anniversary. And we're going to stay at Disney's Boardwalk for one night because we wanted a resort stay somewhere for our anniversary. And 
we still had a DVC rental voucher, a li- little bit left over from um, from COVID and when we did Alani, we didn't use all of it up. So we had like a tiny little bit left. So we essentially got the boardwalk for half price because we didn't think we'd end up being able to use that voucher. But they've been, they've been a DVC rental have been amazing Fantastic. throughout from COVID, throughout everything to us. They've been so helpful. Highly recommend them if you want to stay in a deluxe Disney resort because they are, you get good prices and they're really, really good in terms of their, their customer support and answering yeah, questions. And very quick, just, efficient. Yeah. Highly recommend them. So staying at the boardwalk for one night and on that day, we're going to do a bit of a resort day, just chill out around the pool for most of it and then hang out at the boardwalk at night, go to Abracadabra for a drink. Yeah, and we've got friends joining us as well. Yeah, and we picked the boardwalk because when we got married in Florida, we went there and hung out in the afternoon and went to Abracadabra and got photos. Things things So we think it'll be nice there. And we've stayed there before we we like the resort. We're going to head there and have a good day really? five years five years flown, flown by yeah half a life sentence and no not, not quite no <laughs> and then the next couple of days uh, the next day is the thursday no real plans for that day so we're looking for suggestions we think maybe disney springs maybe icon park something like that we're literally taking everything quite literally playing it by year we've got ideas yeah. but we're not set nothing set in stone we're just gonna take Take each day as Only a couple one. of things set in stone, um, which will, will boardwalks one. We'll come to the the next one in a second. Uh, we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna plan on going to Saint Augustine, 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 Saint Augustine. Yeah, and Saint on the Augustine. way we'll Saint Augustine, Saint Augustine. One of them. <laughs> we're gonna go and check that place out. Uh, we really enjoyed the theme park a vlog on that as well as other ones that we've seen. Yeah, we've seen quite a few with our friends as well. Who've yeah. Been there. And it's somewhere we've wanted to go. The good thing about not doing any theme parks is we're getting to do all the things in Florida that we would normally have never got to do. Which is something we've been talking about where we mm. wanted to explore and see different things of the world and, and America as well. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to head to the, the Bazaar's meetup on the 17th. So we'll be there for, for that. A few drinks in Stargazers. Um, and we'll spend a bit of time hanging out with the Bazaar separately as well. Can you make sure it's got lots of tonic in this time? <laughs> strong, <laughs> strong, strong, strong drinks. So we're gonna do that. Um, like I said, we'll be hanging out at Disney Springs for one for one day. We'll be at Icon Park for another day. Uh, we're gonna go to just a lot of local areas. We're gonna try and find a couple of parks. Um, head up to Winter Park. Go and get a Gideon's cookie, but not at Disney Springs because that queue's ridiculous. <laughs> um, what other things are we gonna do in the sort of local area before we talk about Tampa? Oh God, in the local area. Well, we're definitely going to try and get some ramen because we have a thing for ramen. Well, yeah, we and want to find we've a good challenged ramen. Ant to find a, a really good ramen place. Yeah. Whether he's found one, I don't know. We're going to, in, in terms of food, we want to try lots of local places as well as a couple of old favourites, old favourites of mine, like Cracker Barrel. You've never been I've to never Cracker been, Barrel. So it's going to be a but I want to go back. Like, I am dreaming. Mm. Of Cracker Barrel because. That was delicious, so I'll, I'll take you there. Um, we're gonna have a few different breakfasts with like Maple Street Bourbon. Is it bourbon? That looks interesting. Um, a couple of chains that we've not been to as well, like Portillo's, I think we might try, maybe. There's a few places that we've been thinking about and looking at. Fat Burger, maybe? Yeah, was it, what was one of the breakfast places? Um, Kiki's First Watch, I wanna take you oh, to that first, was watch. first Watch. First Watch is good. Uh, Metro Diner, there's, there's loads of places um, that we want to find and try for breakfast, but we need suggestions for the for the other meals because we, we've got a couple of ideas and like we want to find a good ramen. Oh, we're going to try the truck stop thing as well, aren't we? Food trucks, yes. Yeah, any, yes, kind, we any, recommend- for any recommendations for any food trucks yeah. as well, because we like trying new stuff like that as well. Either World Food Trucks or the Heaven Food Trucks, I think it's called, is the new one we want to try. We want to Maybe pop along there and, and try that out. Even local like farmers markets as well, because we like that kind of thing. Anything like that as well, especially for me, because I, I really like those kind of things. Yeah. So we're, yeah, we're, we're pretty flexible and open. There is one weekend, I think it's, is it the Monday? Sunday and Monday. Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, we're heading to St. Petersburg. Is it 20th? Yeah, yeah. that's a Monday. We're heading to St. Petersburg to watch the Tampa Rays versus the Red Sox. We're going to see our first baseball game. Oh, yeah, pretty there's, excited there's, a, there's a theme going on here, and getting us to all of the American sports, and he started on the Canadian ones as well. Yeah, 
So we're going to see the baseball, we're going to stay overnight um, and explore St Petersburg a little bit and then we're going to go to Tampa Zoo on the way back. Where so are we staying? We're staying in the Avalon <coughs> Hotel. <coughs> Sorry you can't come Sebastian. No. So where are we? <laughs> we're staying in the Avalon Hotel in St Petersburg uh, for the night. There is a pool, we probably won't get a chance to use it though. Yeah. But it's a nice central, area, central location. Um, for where we need to be and what we're exploring. Did we find food trucks in that area as well? No. no. Well, we, we might. We might when we go. We've never been. No. No. So yeah, that's our that's our trip. Eleven days in Florida with Tui from Newcastle, staying with our friends for the most part and just exploring and doing all the local stuff, having some nice food hopefully and some nice drinks. Definitely have nice drinks. Yeah. So like Sean says, any recommendations will be greatly appreciated. Whether it's food, drink, things to do, things to see. Yeah. Doesn't just, matter, big or small, free or chargeable, just give you an idea. Definitely, and you'll see those videos in a couple of weeks' time that that series will start. Not sure how the, the vlogs are going to be, they're going to be whether they're going to be daily, some will be, or whether they're going to be specific things, but we'll, we'll figure that out as we, as we record over there. Um, I hope you enjoy them, and if you're not subscribed and you want to see them, don't forget to hit subscribe because it'll help, help you see those videos and it also helps us out as well. And we'll be back with another trip announcement in a month or two's time for a trip that we're doing in October. And it ain't far though. No. It's a part of the world we've never been to. But it's a part of the world Sean's always wanted to go. Yes. I really wanted to go to Japan for my 40th. That's not happening. But where we're going is fairly close. I mean, a couple of hours flight, but fairly close. Yeah. We'll be back with that one. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget, like I said, to subscribe if you want to see them. Keep making memories. Catch you later.